artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own wild thing inspired by Marie Syndex Where the Wild Things Are. Your wild thing doesn't have to look like mine. You can use any of the ideas in the book or any of the ideas out of your own head to make your very own wild thing. Happy creating! To draw your wild thing today, you're going to st want to start with a head and a body. So I'm going to put my head towards the top of the page. I'm going to practice making my circle. And then touch. And so I have a pretty perfectly round head. If you get your head a little bit more oval shaped, that would be just fine. The next part of your wild thing should be the wild thing's body. My wild thing's body is just going to be... like the letter U or an oval. And now comes the fun part. I need to decide what my wild thing is going to look like. It doesn't have to look like any of the wild things out of the book, but I could use some of the things that I see on this page to help me draw it. Um, these pictures look like some of the wild things in the book, but they're all different combinations and you can do this however you like. So I could draw these eyes with a beak or I could draw stripes and human feet. I could give my wild thing square teeth or pointy teeth or horns, sharp claws, ears, a tail. Whatever you wanna do to your wild thing is the right thing to do. You just need to be creative and create your own wild thing. I've had a lot of fun picking out what's going on my wild thing, but now that I've drawn it, I might give my wild thing a place to be or a place to stand, maybe some things in the background. Now that I have some things going on in the background, I'm going to be using something to color with to color my wild thing. <laughs> 